In chapter 3 of the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu Bible, uh, God, Krishna, makes one of his more controversial statements where he says, it's better to do one's own duty badly, poorly, than to do someone else's duty well. People say, what? That's crazy. What if you have somebody who's very talented and they're in the wrong job and, you know... Um, the distinction here is, of course, that the rules themselves are more important than the results of what they produce. We tend to think of things in terms of their efficiency and their expediency, whereas in this case, the emphasis is on the necessity of rules in and of themselves. We need rules. Um, it's not a question of right and wrong. It's not a question of consequential uh, results of the rules, but the rules themselves. We need rules here on earth, whether we like it or not. Um, and, you know, the obvious downside to that is, uh, what if the rules are horrific? <laughs> what if we have slaves and that sort of thing? Well, again, it's sort of, you know, they're taking sides here. They're saying that a bunch of horrible rules are still better than no rules at all. Because no rules at all means that there's nothing. There's just a void out there that we can't even uh, we can't even make any sense out of anything because there's nowhere to sort of at least even artificially stand and see things from a certain angle at least in terms of managing our relationships with each other um, it all depends on what we expect the fundamental nature of our rules or our laws or our ethics to accomplish um, I tend to take the view that the best that we can do uh, here on Earth as human beings in an imperfect uh, uh, set of perceptions that we have to base everything on, that the best we can do is to have rules. The best we can do is to manage society. Um, trying to put right and wrong in absolutes into this is sort of a recipe for nihilism, if you ask me. Because every single rule out there um, has a downside to it. <laughs> Everything. So, um, I think that the prescription here is just make rules. The fact that we have rules has to be examined, and why do we even have rules in the first place? Laws, ethics, morals, that kind of thing. The very fact that we have morals, ethics, rules, laws, whatever, is, in this point of view, more important than what these rules actually result in. I'm not saying that I necessarily agree with that point of view, but I think that it's a way out of the mess that uh, is alluded to in this rape apologist thing. Um, it's just when we decide that there's good or bad in everything and, and, and we should always fight the bad and go for the good or whatever, you end up in some sort of infinite regression. Um, you end up in some sort of almost a Salem-like witch hunt where you're just trying to find the bad people. Um, that's the downside of a guilt or a um, altruistic or good and evil type uh, ethical or moral system or even social structure or legal system. Um, I'm not saying that, again, that I agree with that point of view, but I think it's a good counterbalance to our present view of things. Our present view of the world is a black-white, good-bad, halal-haram uh, sort of universe where we have to avoid the bad and uh, seek the good. The reality that we live in is never that convenient. 